Hi everyone, welcome back to another Mass Day vlog and welcome back to Polish professional football. Today is the start of the season and I'm ready for it. So last year I set myself the goal to visit all 18 stadiums, which we completed. Uh, however, this season I've decided to focus more on the bigger games, but also on the local derbies. Because last year, sometimes I filled the weekend with games that were not really that interesting and it showed in the statistics and it was kind of not worth the trouble and the money spent on it so and seeing that here in Poland almost every weekend there is a local derby I will try and focus more on those games but on the derbies I'm not only including arch enemies there's also friendship derbies like today we're in the beautiful city of Wroclaw and we're going to Slansk Wroclaw against our friends Lechia Gdansk so let's get inside So first kill bus of the season, I had to pay 28 zlotys for this, that's too high. But let's try it for the new table, there are some herbs inside. One eternity later. Very chewy, very dry, combined with the ridiculous price of 28 zlotys, um, I'm giving this a 4 out of 10. The new shirt looks nice, but not really feeling it. Okay, time to get inside. I need some water. I'm already afraid for my wallet. The seats are still faded, so they need to like uh, get the blow touch on that one. Almost we got the team previews. So Swans finished second last season. Uh, same points as Jagalonia. I think the goal difference was better for Jagalonia and probably also the results between them. So the biggest change is that Exposito is gone. Uh, he went to Qatar. And in return, they got uh, Seba from Gornik and also some other players. Like the, the, the players they got are the average extra class of players. You know, they're good for extra class, but. Nothing really special. They took over Petrov from CSKA Sofia. Uh, but that's really the only thing they spend money on so far. And it's a question if Matthias Nauwel will still be here at the end of the month because Maccabi Tel Aviv is looking into buying him for 2 million euros, I think. But at least they could invest that into the squad. Kolej Hegelans is a bit different. Uh, they had a FIFA transfer ban, but that's all sorted now. They paid 750,000 to the Latvian team for Kapic, uh, who is going to be the captain, I think, today. But because of that transfer ban, they couldn't really make any moves yet on the market. Uh, they got a Swedish midfielder who looks interesting. Anyways, both the teams have a good friendship with each other. Uh, I've seen supporters of both sides hanging out with each other. But I think the match itself will be a close one. Uh, I'm thinking a 2-1 win for Slansk, but we have to see. Goalkeeper was of his line, and he loved it all the way over.
Gdansk is leading at half time. Uh, the first 15 minutes they started much better uh, than Slavs, but after the goal Slavs started pushing a bit more. Yeah, they're unlucky with the final ball, but I think there's a goal in the air there. But now, thanks to Copa America, we're having a halftime show because that's a thing now. I will put some music over it for copyright reasons. It's too bad I cannot put the audio in because the entire mill was whistling it and jeering it. Almost half goal. We cleared it off the goal line. The goalkeeper could have cleared the ball, so he started dribbling and then lost it. What it shows. Oh, it's still to the end of the match. Some people miss that goal. Now we need to get quickly to the train station. I have a train in one hour. Okay, managed to make it at the station on time. The atmosphere at the game was very good. Uh, Lechia was sitting on the mill together with Slansk. And it was a very loud atmosphere. Pyros were good. Yeah, it was a very good uh, performance. Uh, the match itself was not that good. As mentioned during halftime, uh, the first 15 minutes Gdansk was playing uh, very well, started very well, got their goal. It was a bit lucky, the goalkeeper was far from the line, but it was a smart, smart shot. And just like last season, uh, Slansk has problems dominating games when they, you know, when they're a goal down and have to come back. Like, it's not in their place how to dominate games. What it again shows stay till the end people don't leave earlier just to avoid traffic now you missed out on the goal i'm happy i want money with my coupon so that at least covers that horrible kill bus i bought i'm gonna head back to katowice welcome back to extra class of football thank you for joining me today uh, tomorrow we're in katowice i already heard from my sources that there will be pyros too there so please like and subscribe you know what to do i will see each other tomorrow Bye -bye.